Also, I wanted to talk about one little thing that mm, kind of has been on my mind. morning you guys welcome to today's video today i'm just planning on like getting my life back together after i was out of town it's 7 30 7 21 a.m i woke up at 2 a.m jet lag i'm kind of like talking quiet because i think that like my roommates are probably asleep right now yesterday i was like jet lag is not even a thing for me i totally like didn't even feel jet lag no i woke up at 1 a.m and then i fell back asleep till 2 a.m and then i couldn't fall back asleep and my eyes are so heavy right now but my brain is too awake to like sleep i just want to nap but like now that i'm awake i'm like i can't i don't know part of me is like do i just screw trying to get back on this time zone right now and just sleep but i'm trying so i got back technically two days ago i got back at like 9 p.m the day before yesterday yesterday was my first full day back here and i was fine like i was like jet lag is not a thing like i well i knew that jet lag is a thing but i was like i'm not feeling any jet lag i was like a little tired at 6 p.m but i was like no i'm gonna conquer it and then i just couldn't fall back asleep this morning i don't know so i'm really tired but i actually got a lot done in between 2 a.m and 5 a.m like i edited a couple of like tiktoks that i needed to send into a company i worked on my budget for the month of may i got a couple packages that my mom's gave me that got sent to my mom's house for pr i'll actually take a little haul i unboxed those and then you just saw me unbox my suitcase unbox my suitcase i started to unpack it i'm currently doing my first load of laundry that shit smell like my clothes reeked it was just it was hot obviously where i was so like it, all the clothes had like sweat on them and like i thankfully brought a laundry bag so glad i did this because like i would not have wanted my gross clothes touching like my clean clothes i'm actually actually gonna go to the Bahamas in two weeks. I don't think I've said that on this channel yet. So yeah, I'm going to the Bahamas in two weeks from now. So I'm curious when this video is going up because I have all the travel vlogs going up before this. If you guys are living under a rock. No, I'm just kidding. I know not everyone sees and watches every single one of my videos, but I was just in Italy and Greece for two weeks. I had just posted all the travel vlogs. So go check those out. It was genuinely the greatest experience of my entire life. Like I kind of just wanted to like debrief the trip a little bit. I don't want to go too much into it. I'll probably talk more about it on my Instagram stories and things like that maybe even tiktok i don't want to like be at a dead horse and like talk about this trip forever but i is it like weird to say that that was like the best two weeks of my life like is it too soon to say that i just feel like i loved every second of it like i can't even explain to you just how like fulfilling it was like i've always liked traveling but i've never like love loved it that makes any sense like i've always just been like i really like seeing things like i am such a homebody i like being in my house i like being in my bed but those two weeks i was just like i want to do this more like i want to do this for Forever. I feel like I really grew a lot. I feel like I learned so much about history and just it was so cool to see different cultures and how people live differently than you and it was very eye-opening and honestly like a little humbling. And so I went with EF Ultimate Break. This video is not sponsored by them. They don't even know I'm talking about this, but I do have a promo code if you guys want to use code Keegan100 to get $100 off your first trip. Again, not sponsored. They just gave me that code and it was the best experience ever. And I honestly am like, should I book another trip? Like I miss all the people that I went on that trip with. Like they all became such close friends and I was editing the vlogs like the first couple days before we all really got to know each other and got closer and I was like dang I wish we were as close at the beginning of the trip as we were towards the end just because like could fully live it like I was like looking at my montage footage and I was like my friends like I didn't even know that they'd be like good friends to me the first day of the trip like I don't know if this makes any sense but it's a group travel company so there was a ton of people that I didn't know I went with my boyfriend but besides that I didn't know anyone else and they were all just so amazing I loved them all I want to go back so bad like when I was in Greece I was like should I already be planning a trip on when I want to come back and now I'm like, okay, I need to make a bucket list of all the countries that I want to go to. Maybe manifest that I'll go to it. I don't know. I'm just kind of tired. And <laughs> there's like rambling. But I started unpacking my suitcase. Should I do a haul of all the stuff that I got? I think that might be the move. Let me get let me get one thing. I do apologize if I'm like low energy right now. I'm just freaking tired. But I wanted to show you guys everything that I got. I did get one t-shirt. It says Athens University on it. I just needed a t-shirt. It's very soft though. I don't know where to start. 
I'll start here. I guess I'll start like back. I don't know. I got this ring. It has like the two little eyes on it. If you guys know the eyes that keep out evil and all that stuff. It's just super cute. And I like that it was like adjustable. The guy said this was silver. This is most definitely not silver. This is gonna tarnish and rust in like a minute. Our tour guide gave us this gift. It was like this little bracelet. And then she actually custom made it. So there's like the little eye that keeps out evil. A little tassel. A little gem. I'm gonna put it on. So all the girls got a matching one. And all the boys got like a thicker bracelet. Oh, I also got another thing. Our tour guide gave us like a little pouch that had... <laughs> Sorry, I was like adjusting the... Oh no. <laughs> okay, well, I just messed up this bracelet. That's cute. Whatever. I guess I won't wear it. Our tour guide also gave us like a little pouch to put our money in because euros are like a lot bigger than American dollars. So, like they just don't fit as easily in your wallet. I put it away. So I'm just so tired right now, you guys. When I went to the Vatican, I got a little charm. I wanted to get like a little cross necklace with a chain. The chains, they didn't have one. Like I wanted it to sit like right here and the shortest chain they had would go here. And when you go to the Vatican, you can get things blessed. And Eve Ultimate Break has like a nice little like thing with the Vatican where like you can get it blessed and then I'll deliver it to your hotel. The Pope, King, I'm jet lagged so reading is hard. May the apostolic blessing. I don't even know what this says. I'm just, maybe I should take a nap. You can get your items blessed. So I got this little cross charm. It's like a gold charm. I want to put it on a necklace like I said. So I need to buy the charm for it or the chain for it. But it's this cute little cross. I wanted just like a little dainty one that I could like layer with necklaces or wear alone. And it was blessed. So I don't know why I just kissed it, but I did. So I thought that was really cool that you can get like your items blessed. Like it has more like meaning to it. My boyfriend got his mom like an ornament. I was going to get my mom something, but honestly, like I was trying to find gifts for like fa friends and family, but I was like, I don't want to get them junk. I don't want to get them stuff that's like just going to clutter up their houses, take up space that they're never going to use. So I didn't get anyone anything. <laughs> I know I feel bad. But, like I was just like, none of this is like useful. None of this is stuff that like I could see them using as decor. So I only got myself stuff, which I feel a little selfish for doing that. I started this new collection of these houses so it started with this guy and if you guys watch my vlog when we went to god i still don't know how to pronounce it because i thought it was like tanique Tere, but then someone's like no it's sinique and the, but the someone else told me like the c is pronounced like a t i don't know please i'll figure it out anyways when i was in italy there was like a little town i think this was in i don't even know what town this was in i saw this little pink house and i was like this is the cutest thing i've ever seen it's hand painted by like a local woman and all the houses there were like just different colors so this was a house that they had there and so someone made like a little statue of it I thought it was the cutest thing ever I forgot it at the gift shop I bought it then I left it at the gift shop and then we went to a different city and then we literally like took the train back to the city to go get it it was like a whole thing I'm really glad we did it was beautiful and so worth it like I was so sad I was like I left it and I think it's so cute this kind of started a trend of me buying these like little houses I got three more in Greece <laughs> I'm moving into a new apartment soon don't know where I'm moving don't know when I'm moving but I know my lease ends here at the end of July so I will be moving into a new apartment I wanted to fill my apartment with like decor that had like a little bit of meaning to it and something that can make me smile when I look back on it when I was shopping those are things that I was just trying to keep in mind I also got this little house I don't remember oh, I really should have written down where these were from so this one I believe I got this one in Paros Paros I think this one is like really cute and I don't know if I want to put them all next to each other or if I want to kind of put them throughout my apartment I guess we'll see but I wanted to get this one because it had some like pink in it I also got this little one this this one is from Santorini. A little like the dome churches. So freaking cute. I thought that I left this one, but I didn't. And I'm so glad that I didn't. I got this one in Paros. Try to find one with like the pink. I thought this was super pretty with like the flowers. So this one I got in Paros and I have no idea where it was made because the lady that I bought it from didn't speak any English. I was like, do you... <laughs> I was like, do you know who painted this? And she was like, ah. And I was like, it's my fault I don't speak Greek. <laughs> I am coming to a foreign country, you know. I learned a few words. I made my way through Greece. I'm just going to say it was made in Paros. This one I got in Santorini, but I think it was made in Athens. And this one was made in Santorini. But I got both these in Santorini. Does that make any sense? They were all made in the different islands that I was at, but two of them I got from Santorini. So I think they're so cute. All my little houses. Obviously, the three of like these ones go together because they're kind of like blue. I just think they're so cute. So now I'm collecting houses. So if I ever go to another country and if I find little houses I will buy them. I have this idea that I had last time I went abroad with the April Night Break actually. I got like a little souvenir from every place that I went to and I was like when I'm older I want to have like a shelf in my house maybe like a guest room or a hallway of just like little souvenirs that I got from all the places that I've been and photos of me from all these places. I thought that these were like super cute. Honestly they're not really going to go with the decor that I have in mind for my apartment but I just think they're so cute and so now I collect these little houses and I love them. I don't know which one my favorite is. They're 
they're all so different. But yeah, they all have like a little bit of pink in them. I think this one might be my favorite. I'm not gonna lie. I just think this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I'm glad that I went back to the city <laughs> to go get it. I think we literally had to like make a whole detour, find a train. Like it was just, it was a mess. Other things that I got. This was an impulse purchase. You guys saw me in Athens talk about this. I kind of want to open it out of the bubble wrap, but since I'm moving, I'm like, it just doesn't make sense to because I don't want to scratch it. But it is this amazing wooden board. It's made out of local olive tree wood. It's one piece of wood. It's not several. They have like an Etsy shop. I mentioned the Etsy shop. I showed you guys their business card in my Athens vlog when I got this. I love this. So imagine this on like a kitchen island with like a fruit bowl and like a glass vase of flowers or even like on a coffee table with like maybe some flowers and like my remotes like and then I can also use this as a charcuterie board. Like I just think this is beautiful. For my apartment, I'll definitely talk to you guys about like the decor and the style that I want to do things with. I want it to be like a lot of like natural wood tone textures, some neutrals and like whites and blacks. That's kind of like the vibe. And so I saw this and I was like, this is everything and more. Like I loved like kind of the veining on it. Just she's beautiful. I wanted this to be more of like decor and like I will use this as a charcuterie board at one point in time. I know for a fact. I also wanted one that was kind of like a funky shape. This has like a flat edge, which I think will be cool. I don't know. I just love this. It's huge. My suitcase was 50.5 pounds and they didn't charge me over. So I was pretty impressed with myself. I was like, I did that. And then the last thing that I got, I think this is the last thing that I got. I was at the airport in Athens flying back home. I had 20 euros left. I had a bill. And so I was going through the gift shops trying to find what I wanted to get because I didn't want to waste my money. And so I found this. I, you guys are probably like, Keegan, like, what are you going to use this for? Decor. Hey, can you imagine this? This is so cute. I saw one that had like more of like veining on the outside, but it was a darker color. This is like a little simple, but like there's like the little, I think this is like where you like mash spices. I should totally like mash like a puree fruit and stuff for like cocktails. But this is also made out of like local olive tree wood. Olive trees also have like a lot of meaning in Greece. So I think that was really cool. Can you imagine this? Like on a shelf, maybe like a couple of coffee table books and then you have like a plant next to it. Like this is like, this is gonna be decor. It, like I'm not gonna like use this for what it's intended to be, but I just think this is like so cute. Just loved it. I just thought she was cute. And I had 20 euros left. I also have a dollar and 30 cents in coins. And so I thought I'd put them in there. Very Taylor Swift, like 13, you know, the, you know. So I thought this would be like a cute little decor on a shelf and it would also like tie in the wood from this to make it cohesive. So that is my little haul of everything that I got in Italy and Greece. I will do a haul of the PR stuff that I got later. I've been talking for quite a bit. <laughs> I'm just sitting here chatting. I don't know. I really want to take a nap. It's 7.38 now. I've been talking for a while. I'm looking at my to-do list. This is a new to-do list. I actually got so much done yesterday and this morning. Yesterday when I came back the first day here, like I was just doing errand after errand. I was grocery shopping. I was doing returns. So I didn't vlog yesterday, but I'm vlogging today. I still have quite a bit that I need to get done today. I need to like take a thumbnail and like finish stuff for my video. It's going to go live tomorrow. I'm very shocked that I got as much done as I did, but we're going to battle jet lag together. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just tired, but not tired enough to sleep. <laughs> I have to be honest with you guys, it's been a few days. I was just so exhausted, I couldn't even think straight. I feel like you could tell in the video, like I was not functioning properly. But it's been two days since I filmed last for this vlog and I have a lot to do. <laughs> My job, this job right here, something about it is you'll think that you have everything scheduled out, you have everything that you know that you need to do when you need to do it, and then something will come up that needs your immediate attention. A lot of jobs are like this, honestly. It's just the way the world is. A lot came up for me today and so we're really gonna start working. I was supposed to have plans to hang out with my friend Tori, but she was sweet. I really appreciate her for doing this. And she was like, we can just move it to either another day or later today, get your work done. And I was like, you are amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I have some stuff I need to do. There is a lot of exciting things happening in my life right now. You guys will see it in the next couple vlogs, but my life is like kind of getting exciting right now. <laughs> and I need to do stuff for the exciting things right now. I wish I could elaborate and you guys will find out within like the next video. Yeah within the next video. I think that's when you, maybe in the next one after that. I don't know. Does that make any sense? I'm still jet lagged. I woke up at 4 a.m. this morning. I think that I should make, like what? I think that I'm gonna make a to-do list of everything that I need to do, but I can't show you the to-do list because it's the new one that I haven't shown you. I have it. It's right here. Can't see it. This is covering it. This is a really exciting one that I haven't shown you guys yet. I hope that you guys like these because I love them. People are also asking me, there were so many things that I needed to do. What do I need to do? A lot of people are asking me when the to-do list will come out. End of summer, probably late July. 
July, early August. I'm so excited. Something that's happening to me right now is I'm feeling very overwhelmed. Typically when I'm feeling really overwhelmed to the point that like I kind of feel like it's hard to breathe a little bit, I know it's my anxiety. Something that helps me kind of calm my anxiety is clearing up my space. Something that is stressing me out is all of the clutter I have everywhere. It's just everywhere. And so I think that I'm gonna clean up my room a little bit and that will help me just have like a clear mind, a clear visual space, which will help me just feel like a little bit less anxious and be able to get my work done better. A lot of the stuff that's scattered around here is actually PR and I thought I'd show you guys it as I'm putting it away because like fun. I don't know. Why are my keys here? Where's my purse? I don't see this is what happens. I sometimes will just like drop things and I'm like, I'll put them here I'll deal with it later and now it's later and I'm like Ugh. I find like just cleaning up my space just gives me such a refresh Okay, I got this in the mail. This is from a company called wine wicks and this is so cool sip and salvage.com So these are candles that are made out of old wine bottles beer glasses and just alcohol bottles in general This is in the smell. I was about to say the shade. It's the scent afterglow, which I got because Taylor Swift afterglow it's beautiful i think it's like so vintage looking and just so cute so i'm excited to use this in my next apartment because i move out of here decently soon sometimes i just want to like shove things in my drawer and then deal with it later but then i'm like okay that kind of defeats the whole purpose of cleaning up but i don't have that much time to clean up right now lancome also sent me this mascara it's their lay hypnosis lay hypnosis mascara the one that i'm using right now my like everyday mascara that i'm obsessed with is from lancome it's their lash idol i'll put these both together but this is like really cool packaging right it seems like it's a little bit drier of a formula, which we'll see. Okay, so Buxom was so nice, and they sent me like a really cute package. Came with the sexy hairspray, the big spray and play. I'm gonna put this away. That rhymed. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. They also sent me these little like hair ties. They're from the brand Slip. I feel so in awe that brands sent me things. Like it just still never gets normal to me. Like I still am like, wow, I'm the 13 year old girl that filmed videos on my iPhone and here I am. Like it blows my mind. <laughs> like this is my full time job now. That's crazy. They also sent me these really cute nails from Chill Tip. They're kind of like purple and nude. I've been seeing so many people using like press on nails and so I've been wanting to try them oh they also sent me a lip scrub and their powerful full plump lip balm i'm excited to try both of these next time i wear makeup i'm gonna put it in my makeup drawer speaking of makeup benefit cosmetics they're literally insanely amazing <laughs> they sent me i'm like shaking i don't know why i think i had too much pre-workout this morning they sent me oh my god all of their box blushes they have all these new box blushes and they sent me all of them i'm so excited to try all these i'm gonna put them in my makeup drawer and then next time i get ready i'm gonna go to my makeup drawer to get them there's so many shades though honestly i just haphazardly threw them in there i think that i'm just gonna leave these where they are not move them but i fangirled i fangirled so hard when i got this in the mail procter and gamble who owns like tide bounty a bunch of companies they sent me pr they sent me the tide hygienic clean heavy duty what, what are these things called detergents why can i not think of this literally in awe they also sent me the tide to go wipes which i've never heard of these before and i want to try them because i think they're like tied to go sticks but they're probably more convenient because they're like wipes and they won't get it wet also the downy light ocean mist i love these little scent beads that you put in your washing machine before you like wash your clothes because it makes your clothes smell really good which i love and then they also sent me some tide pods which i'm so thankful for thank you guys to all the companies that sent me pr i'm so grateful i'm still in shock that this happens i feel a little chaotic right now not a fan of chaos mode right now it's not what we need wrapping up the curling iron i just want to clear off my desk so i can have like a nice little working space i've been working Working on my bed a lot recently which is nice because it's comfortable but then I just feel like the entire day has gone by and I'm like I've laid in bed all day even though I'm doing stuff it just feels wrong I'm gonna make my bed I always make my bed and then I get in it so it just like defeats the whole purpose of it I'm staying out of bed today staying out of bed making the bed hmm. Harry Styles is stuck in my head in case anyone was wondering I'm sure you were all wondering I feel a little better now not much but a little bit better let's start working i have oh excessive heat warning i hate it here <laughs> i live in the middle of the desert i have stuff i need to do i'm gonna start doing it just hopping right back in
taking a little break from editing. I honestly haven't even gotten that far. Let's see. I've only edited a rough cut five minutes. 29 second progress. The next thing that I need to do though is the reason why I'm taking a break is I got an email and I need to pick out stuff for a sponsorship. It's a great part of my job, honestly, like online shopping. It's pretty, pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Does anybody else shop by just adding a ton of things to their cart and then they're like, I'll condense it later. But for now, I'm just gonna add everything I want. Or is that just me? Let's look at, ooh, hmm, trending. Oh, this is cute. Oh, that's really cute. That's really cute. Adding that to the bag. Condense later. Wow, I love shopping. <laughs> now that I've finished everything, you need to form like an email. Put all the links to everything with your sizes, placement items in case things are sold out, your mailing address, all that stuff. So I'm about to draft an email. Now we're back to editing. I just finished rough cutting all the footage and I think I'm gonna pause here because I don't want to continue I also don't have all the footage. I need to get that back So I can't finish the video fully and I feel like I want to finish it all in one sitting So I don't know if this makes any sense It's kind of just like a work day a little bit of a chaotic work day Also, I wanted to talk about one little thing that mm, Kind of has been on my mind the way my videos have been recently and the way they're going to be for a little bit Is not how I want my videos to be when I envision my post-grad videos and I do this full-time I feel like I can't really fully start doing that until I move out of this apartment. Like I feel like I can't make my videos be the way that I want to when I'm kind of confined to my bedroom and not like have an entire place. My next video will tell you all about where I'm moving, who I'm living with, all that stuff. So that'll be the next video actually. Get excited. But yeah, so I feel like me posting three times a week, the quality of the videos, like the cool angles and things like that, that will probably start in July, August, sometime like that. I don't know. I just feel like I'm like editing my videos and they kind of remind me the same of how they were when I was in school. And don't get me wrong, I still really like the videos that I made when I was still in school, but I want to make them better and they will be better. I just feel like I have to be in like a different environment because I feel like this environment is putting me in like a creative rut and I feel like a new one will kind of like revive that for me. Does that make any sense? I don't know. Next thing that I need to do is I need to make a label for some returns. Let me get them. I ordered some swimsuits and they turned out horrible. I got Frankie's bikinis and they're kind of expensive. So I really wanted a white swimsuit and I really loved the top on the white swimsuit with the bottoms. Give me a camel toe again. And then I also got this like Gigi Hadid collab, which I thought was cute, but it just like didn't fit me the way I wanted it to. And they were too expensive to keep. So I'm going to, I've been honestly pushing this off for a really long time. I still have so many of these little like parcels from when I did my to-do list. So I'm going to put those in there. And then I have my label printer that I used for my to-do list. So I'm just going to print off the label. And then tomorrow morning when I go to the gym, I'll just drop it off um, at the post office. It's been a little bit. I got a lot more work done, but I'm about to leave home pretty soon. It's my stepdad's birthday today, so we're gonna go out to dinner, and I love free dinner and a celebration. So I'm wearing, obviously, the dress that I wear for everything. My Abercrombie traveler dress. I'll link it down below. I'm trying to get better at, like, linking things down below, so if you guys ever want to know where something is, post it in the comments, and I'll try to link it for you guys. Or, ugh, I'm trying to grab a clip, sorry. I'll link it on my Instagram, but I want to just improve on that because I'm like if I'm a full-time youtuber now I better be a good full-time youtuber well just put my hair in the claw clip let's see if I just take a couple pieces down it will look cuter I'm just not one of the people that can like rock the egg look I have too too weird of a shaped head um Honestly, I don't think it looks horrible. And then on my little Amazon hoops, I think I'm gonna wear like, honestly, I was gonna wear sneakers, but <laughs> I feel like these shoes deserve their moment. They're from Steve Madden. I actually bought them on Amazon. I didn't realize you could buy Steve Madden shoes on Amazon. There is like a unitard under this, so I'm not like flashing you guys. The unitard is really nice, but it's kind of hot in Arizona to be wearing it. I kind of feel cute. I only have one shoe on, but yeah, this is the outfit. We're going to go to a little Mexican restaurant that I really like. I did eat lunch a little bit later in the day because I've been so busy that I'm kind of full right now and we're going to eat dinner in an hour. So hopefully I'll be a little bit less full in an hour, but this is the look, but I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys are excited to see the next vlog where I tell you guys all about my living plans for next year. So get excited. I love you. Mwah.